people at this evacuation camp were among 200,000 Malawians who have been forced from their homes by floods that have damaged the roads, washed away bridges, and killed livestock. Weather experts say this was a result of tropical cyclone that blew in from neighboring Mozambique. Yeah, Victims recount the ordeal. The so far mm. from the south. Nothing much. We are getting more heavy rains from the north. Okay. How many millimeters? Up to 99 millimeters. Campus It was at midnight while we were fast asleep when I was awakened by sound of something falling down with a thud. I immediately awaked others and found that it was a wall of our house. We found refuge at a chief's house until the following morning when we were told to stay at this camp. The rolling water which entered his house swallowed almost everything he had, but he managed to escape his two children. Ah, I mean, we are now expecting well wishes to provide us with some food, some blankets, and also arrange us some place in the upper land where we can resettle. The now President Peter Mutaliga has declared the flooding affected districts, disaster areas, and made an urgent appeal for help. But the relief items that have started to trickle in are being hampered by roads which is the main cut off. Probably would want to, I uh, think, uh, call upon uh, our mother department, which is the Department of Disaster Management Affairs, uh, under the Minister of Homeland Security, to uh, actually help us with the uh, helicopter so that it should be at least airlifting some of the relief items to the camps which cannot be accessed by Lord. Meanwhile, community health workers have been deployed in camps to treat patients and advise people on practices that help prevent outbreaks of infectious diseases. We are also treating minor ailments to under five children, like malaria, pneumonia, diarrhea, and eye infection. This is our main role. Similar floods in southern Malawi four years ago killed about 276 people and displaced 230,000 others. Government authorities say they plan to start relocating people from flood prone areas to higher ground. And if we could manage actually to take them or move them to safer places, I think it would actually 
uh, do away with the um, the aftermath of uh, these serious uh, disasters, like the one we experienced in 2015, and even this which we have just experienced in March 2019. However, forecasters have warned of another week of steady rains starting from March 14 in parts of South and North Malawi. The rains are likely to cause more flooding. Lamek Masina for VOA News in Sanje.